Hi there. Um, I just wanted to come on and do a little update. Uh, so yesterday I posted a video and it was called A Cup of Tea and a Sprinkle of Wisdom. And I was just pottering around in the kitchen with a cup of tea and I had a little bit of a download that made me go and look into something and that's where it's, it stemmed from and I just got the camera out and I sat down at the table and I, it wasn't going to be a, a long video, that wasn't the intention and um, so looking back at the video um, I think I probably said some things um, off the cuff that um, probably were from the human side of me um, because I hadn't, I hadn't prayed. I hadn't prayed before I came on, and I think last night Spirit had um, sort of given me a little bit of a slap on the wrist. Okay, so I hope I didn't cause offence to anybody, but the intentions are pure. And um, as I said, it was only going to be a, a quick video, just referring to a couple of verses that had come to me, um, and I and it went on for about half an hour. Um, that spirit had said to me that we could have helped you. You know, if I'd have if I'd have sat and prayed, and got into um, that meditative state, they would have helped me more in disclosing what I wanted to speak, um, which is from the heart and from the knowledge that I'm learning in this um, life that I've I've been given. Um, so there was a few things that I wanted to clarify, but before we do that, I think it's really important and. Um, to, to at least have some sort of prayer in your life um, and it's really important to speak the words of um, protection and invoking the protection of the Most High and, and showing your willingness to be um, of service to the Most High and it's like I said in many of my things that I've spoken about I, I truly believe it's all about the connection of heart and um, when we get traumatized by things it, it hardens the heart and closes the connections off that that God wants for us as the innocent children to him um, is what he requires us to um, embody um, and not be making others stumble um, and create in competition where um, we are all individuals and as long as we love our creator with all our being then um, there should be some acceptance there and um, love thy neighbour is the one but um, I, I, I um, had this prayer um, embedded on my heart from a young age um, I went to a, uh, the first school that I went to was called St George's First School and um, it, we said it in assembly every single morning as I said, I was christened Church of England, so um, please um, join me now in the Lord's Prayer. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil, for thy is the kingdom, the power and the glory, for ever and ever. Amen. Okay, so I think that's maybe something that's helped me in my journey, having that embedded on my heart, always having that um, guidance, and maybe I didn't understand it back then, but um, I definitely do now. Um, so, as I said, I got a little bit of a slap on the wrist um, yesterday evening because um, when I look back at the video, there was a few things that I said and I thought, oh, that sounds, that sounds a bit... But it was just speaking off the cuff with no planning, really. Um, so, a lesson learned. And because I'm sharing it, um, I believe it's probably a lesson that Maybe we could all learn, or um, anyone that needs a lesson to learn. Um, so there's a couple of things that I said in that video that made me laugh. Because um, I've said, um, 
I've not always been perfect. <laughs> and that it may have sounded that I was stating that I was perfect and that wasn't the case. So um, please um, <laughs> correct that info. I didn't, I didn't mean to sound um, like I was preaching that I was um, perfect. Uh, and uh, the, the statement about not being scared of death, um, yes, that was drummed into me at a very young age. Um, and I, I suppose um, <clears throat> being awakened to the evils of this world and um, being subject to the, um, or how I've said, um, the energy manipulation, the um, the slander and the gaslighting and people not seeing you for who you are you know and and you say things that um are completely innocent you know as kids i i, I had visions when i was a kid and i i believe it was visions of where i came from and who i was before i came here but and that was just an innocent child young um speaking it was like a memory um it may have been a dream a vision but I was from a very, very young age and it was embedded on my heart as a memory. Um, and maybe one day I'll speak about it, but um, it's very difficult to be able to know what to say that you don't get persecuted for. And and it's all about truth, which is why I'm on this journey and why I'm doing what I'm doing, because I was forced into this journey. Um, you know, I'm, I'm someone that kind of tries to mind my own business, but I'm, I'm a very much truth speaker, truth seeker and always have been. Um, and maybe that's, <laughs> that's the reason why certain individuals were, um, not as receptive to me as, <laughs> as, um, I would have liked them to be, but as you know, this is all a lesson and we learn. Um, and I think, um, it's time really that I start, um, speaking about, <sighs> It's the, it's the pain that we all endure in seeking the Most High and seeking a, the answers of the truth and who we are. It become, we can become persecuted for that. And, and as a child, I was very much a gifted, quite, quite a gifted child, and I was always aware. It was in my soul that I was being watched over and all I had to do was just be myself. And um, it was always something like an energy that pushed me forward and really just banished all my fears, which is why I've done, you know, I've done quite a few things in my life um, and just been guided, really. And, um, you know, I put a lot of things down to bad luck and that maybe okay, I've made a wrong decision here, wrong decision there, but um, it's repetitive. And um, as I said, I've been led on this path and I took the, I took the, um, the offer because I could have, I could have kept my mouth shut and I could have bowed down to this a long, long time ago and maybe, um, you know, we can all say maybe, but maybe um, this path wouldn't have been so hard. But then I wouldn't have been on that path and and it wouldn't have been the righteous path. And, it's you know, it, I'm not doing this for my, for me. I'm doing it for the for everybody um, because it's wrong and I'm doing what's right. Because how I was treated was very, very wrong. And, um, OK, I might have a bit of a, a gob on me when when I know truth needs to be spoken but um, my my heart is pure and my intentions have always been good and um, you know even through my upbringing <sighs> there was physical fights and all sorts of things that, that I had to endure and go through and really become just a defender of my own my own spirit and um, so, but I've met some great people on the journey, although they're not around me now. Um, there's been a lot, like I said, there's a lot going on. It's been deliberate isolation and persecution. And I'm not saying this to preach, to be saying, 
um, oh poor me because it's not the case but this needs to bring some enlightenment to the darkness of um, of the evils in this world and it's unnecessary <clears throat> because if we can't protect the innocent, I'm not talking about myself Eve, I'm talking about the children, if we can't protect the children from having a free, a free surrounding um, an environment to be able to thrive, then um, we are doomed. Um, and that's how, that's how spirit's making me feel. So it's kind of, um, you know, going back to the vision that I had when I was a child, um, I've, I've, I'd already ascended. I was, I didn't have to come back, but I was asked or offered if I would take this, this episode of the journey to come back and, um, and I didn't know what it was, like, it's, you lose, you come back in that innocence form, and this is what, this is why God says the fruit of the womb is thy gift, and there's so much hurt in this world, and trauma, that ruins nations and prosperity for many, many, many years. And um, I had to, I, I don't, I don't um, indulge in any divination whatsoever. I don't um, profess, uh, profess to know um, any occultist knowledge. I don't, um, I don't really seek that. Um, and the only time that I did have to research um, anything more than prayer and, and faith was when I knew I was under attack energy wise and and the manipulation um, and witchcraft um, it's, it's, it's demonic and um, the Bible speaks about demons and demonic but I don't think um, we really truly know the truth about it's evil individuals that are invoking de demonic element energies to create some sort of stability in their world through um, causing harm through divination and that's a it's I mean I would have never known anything about this but um, I was shown this and I knew what I thought I was just I mean it started with all obviously depression and um, anxiety and just feeling rejected by the world and this is me as a 41 year old woman and I speak because I think I'm articulate, articulate enough with the knowledge that I've learned to be able to share this because this is what children are going through through one way or another there's a lot of children that are suffering and they are the future. They are the ones who bring the message. They are the fruit of the womb. And um, this world is so corrupt. And there are good people. There are. But I think um, I was put in this location for a reason. Definitely. And as I said on my video this morning, I think the Most High is keep, keeping me innocent to it also. I have been protecting myself with prayer, speaking affirmations over my life. Um, there are, I've been certain rituals, just cleansing rituals um, that I've been using, um, which I don't, I don't see as divination because I've been guided to them by spirit to use to cleanse the energy in my home, around my home, around my aura, myself. Um, so it's, it's been innocently guided into my life when I've needed it um, because I've been made aware of this horrific energy being projected and, um, and my, my energy being used and manipulated um, 
into something that it was never created to be. Um, so really, um, I had to stand on business or, or be eaten by the monsters. Um, and I remember going into a courtroom and I wouldn't, it's like I wouldn't, because I was a woman and I was standing as a woman, and obviously the false information had been placed on the medical records of the the name on the birth certificate. It was all this was all going on behind my behind the scene that I didn't know about. So I didn't know why I was being treated the way I was. And I remember going into this courtroom. And I won't mention any names, but um, I remember going into this courtroom and the judge wouldn't let me speak. Um, and I I I actually he was trying to to get me to submit to personage um, and you know I, he hadn't heard the human rights application and he wouldn't admit that he was on to his oath and um, and I remember just putting my hands up in the air and I said I asked the divine creator to locate me now and rid my destiny of any satanic hold in the middle of a courtroom and uh, that's been, there's been things like that that have happened where I don't know where they come from. So I honestly don't know where that influence, well I do, it's the most high because I've, I've, I've um, very much been on occasions channeling that energy in, in battle, in battle. Um, and as I said, I, I, I didn't mean to say that. I'm not perfect. I'm not perfect. We are in human form and we are living in this world that has somehow been harnessed in deceit, for, for most of us anyway, I think. Um, and I don't think it's about poverty either, really. It is and it isn't because um, we don't need a lot to survive. Um, but it's the rich, um, and I'm not, I'm not um, making digs at all the rich people because there's a lot of rich people, and um, honourable men and women standing up now and showing the truth um, because it's it's time that we all come together for. For the love of humanity to be shown again and um, for us to open up our heart space and be accepting of all who accept the creator and love the creator with all their being um, it's about intention and i think um, the intentions and the integrity of some of the people who have got a lot a lot of power in this day and age has um, completely abused it and it's it's uh, it's it's not um, favourable anymore, you know, we are. We are entitled to live a joyful, free life without arbitrary treatment or manipulation or um, any kind of, any kind of harassment, you know. We deserve privacy to be able to live in our own homes and sanctuaries um, you know without people spying and invading that mm. yeah so um, it's, it's honestly it's it's just been complete faith in the most high and knowing where I come from and knowing that feeling that I got when I was a child and I was always being looked after and my daddy done a, an amazing job at keeping me a free spirit so that I wouldn't be um <laughs> I remember <laughs> and I died split up with um uh, an ex-partner I was a bit younger obviously he was still here but and he came up to me <laughs> and he gave me a big hug and he said, um, he said, you'll always be my baby. because You'll never be able to have or find anyone to handle you. <laughs> and um, 
at the time, I kind of, I said, oh, Dad, you've, uh, you're cursing me. <laughs> but I know what he meant now. I know what he meant. And um, I've released myself from all handlers that never meant me any, any goodness or, um, you know, it was always about suppressing suppressing and um, manipulation so I just I think times are changing and um, and like I said I've got I've got nothing nothing to lose the um, only thing that's got me through is spirit and the most high um, and that's going back to that memory that I had when I was a kid so um, if it's time to go home it's time to go home and that's what I've got to say on the matter and those who judge have already been judged and um, I wish to invoke the Most High, the Divine Creator, to banish any curses, any binds, any holds, any hooks or manipul manip manipulative energy being sent towards me or anyone who wishes to hear the message. It starts with a mustard seed of faith and um, the love the love in your heart, in full spectrum, is what banishes the demons from from the darkness, and we can we can um, hopefully um, embody this into our into our daily lives. Um, and that's I think that this is another sign, um, Mother Mary, the immaculate, the and and, and I don't. I'm not taken away from Jesus. This is when I when I talk about Mother Mary, I'm not taken away from Jesus. But I'm a woman and I have experienced a lot of sorrow. Um and really not been accepted in the world. So I just it was brought to me and my attention and my consciousness so that I could heal and because the because the world and certain individuals in it and the energies that they're using against innocent souls, innocent hearted and in, and, and good intention um, intended um, people in the world, the things that are being done to them are evil um, and, it, and it, it's really hard to not to not allow the world to make you bitter. It's very, very difficult. But, um, like I said, it starts with a mustard seed of faith and doing the right thing, knowing right from wrong, um, simplifying the message, because um, my dad taught me about family and loyalty and, and um, always doing the right thing, regardless um, of the consequences, really. Um, so that's, that's the message today. Um, thank you for listening and once again I do just want to put out and uh, I will say an apology for jumping the gun a bit on that video yesterday a cup of tea with a sprinkle of wisdom because almost as much as I am with spirit all the time um, and if I am with spirit all the time and um, when you're talk when I'm when I'm preparing myself to come on to speak to you about these sort of things I've just had the slap on the wrist now to um to declare you know and and be on my knees to the most high before um before bringing the message to you because um i think um there was a few bits and bobs in there that could have been channeled a lot a lot better with the help of the of the most high and um so a lesson learned but i you know i feed the birds outside i feed the birds and yesterday um Yesterday I came down and I startled them when I opened the curtains. There wasn't any food left. So I've gone out and I filled up the bowl again. And this was outside, right? See it? It's a little feather. Outside, just outside the door, actually. So I'd, got, I'd gone away from the door, um, left it open for a bit. And I came back and, and it was sat outside the door. And I, I smiled to myself and I said, oh, thank you. Thank you, right? So then um, a bit later on, I then have this one. <laughs> so there's been two in the same day within, I don't know, maybe an hour of each other. So twin flames. <laughs>
it's a uh, it's just a message from spirit and another one today um which kind of you know it just lifts your mood and, and it just maybe my examples can give you some sort of awareness of of how spirit really works so I, I went into the garden barefoot this morning and i um was just grounding myself and just just meditating in in the, in the divine energy and because i'm waiting for for the next um message and um then i saw a few little sparrows there was one on the drain pipe and they flew sort of they're in they're in my roof um and obviously seeing that it just made me smile and then it then it then there, i remember this saying and i don't know whether it was a bible quote or not but it said where the sparrows nest and there's a, there's a place called the sparrows nest up the road here in um, Alton board so anyway i i went put into um the search engine the sparrows nest and um let me just um let me just read it to you quickly so i typed in the sparrows nest sparrows are nesting in my roof and this is the message even the sparrow have found a home and the sh and the swallow a nest for herself where she may lay her young even even your altars o lord of hosts my god and my god my king and my god blessed are those who dwell in your house they will still be praising you sorry um I read that earlier and, and I was like, oh, so um, um, I'll read it again because I probably didn't read that very well. Um, it says, even the sparrow has found a home and the swallow a nest for herself, where she may lay her young, even your altars, O Lord of hosts, my King and my God, blessed are those who dwell in your house. They will still be praising you. Um, that's from the King James Version, Psalms 84 three to seven um so you see it's just very it's very simple i think that was a message from um the divine holy spirit for me this morning as well as the slap on the wrist yesterday um but as i said those who judge have already been judged um peace and blessings to everyone